Morning campers. It's Saturday morning again, bright and early. Uh, we're walking through the woods. Me and Vin. He's over there, I'll show you in a minute. And because it's a weekend, it's van build. Uh, didn't get much done last week, so sorry for that, but that was um, due to oh, a party night. Um, hangover. But we've got plenty to do this weekend. It is a bank holiday weekend, so that means we've got Saturday, Sunday and Monday to, to do the um, build. So we're going to crack on with some big stuff. I say big, it's just, it may take a while. It's not actually big as in dimensions. Just it may take a while, so I'd rather have a nice day to do these on. And today is supposed to be a nice day. It certainly started out well. Anyway, rambling again. Should be calling me the rambler. Uh, right, so what are we doing? What, well, let's start with what we've done during the week. While I've been at work, Sharon's been painting. She's been uh, sorting stuff out in the van. She's cleared it all out. Uh, we've basically taken everything out so we can go and get some more wood today. Uh, We have uh, painted uh, the overhead cabinets. We've got the base on like we had. We've got the side end on. Uh, I think I've shown you everything else on that. But that's what we're up to. I'll give you a quick scan of it when we get there. And then we'll start on today's project, which is finally installing the... Uh, what do you call it? Rotation? Rotatable? Swivel. The swivel seat uh, platform in the front. So we've got the double seat passenger seat we're going to put on a swivel base uh, which we can then obviously swivel so turn around and give us some seating for when we're in the back of the van if that makes sense. Uh, don't think it's a big job uh, but as with all sort of jobs that aren't big, I think I need a full day to make sure I get it done and done right. No, my luck, something's bound to go wrong. Anyway, it's been sitting in the garage in the garage for a while, so it's about time we installed it. And finally, oh uh, no, not finally. To start with, if you've got this far. Thumbs up, because it only goes downhill from here. <laughs> no, uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content that we're doing. Um, what else can we say? And if you, if you don't like me, then you might like Sharon, because I think she's funny. And if you don't like Sharon and you don't like me, then you might like the boy. And here he is now. Hiding behind a tree, eh, boy? <laughs> okay, this is where we got up to during the week. Uh, everything's been painted now. Uh, Sean's going to put a design on the headboard there, that's why it's not all white. I'll put some battening up down that end as well to put the last of the tongue and groove in and sort the window out. All the walls have been done and there's the switch box which again Sharon's going to put a decoration round make it look real funky. Uh, this is the board that we've uh, went and bought today. So today's job hopefully is stick that double seat on a swivel, which is there. And I will show you the steps as I go and see how it works. It's going to be a lot of cut and piercing I think at the end of this for editing. Right. There you go. Oh, look at that. 
that's another seat. It's a seat base. Oh, that may be good. Right, so the first thing we do is we check this out because we don't need that. So yeah, uh, jack and stuff like that is in there. So according to the instructions, we remove the two front posts there and there, and they're used later, and the two back boats, which are in there and in there, and they're torques. Right, uh, I said the two in the back were torques. Fortunately, I bought this years ago to do something on my bike. Um, and it's very rarely I use them because these are big ones. But thank God I've got them. I mean, look at how cheap they were then, 1199 I think they might be a touch more than that now. Uh, but it does have, or it did have before I spilt them all, that one which is long enough to fit in there and get the adapter over the top and then fit it in me socket so I'm laughing uh, just so you know that is a 255 right get on with them get removing them and then, of course, the bit that came with it is half-inch drive, and I don't have that on mine, so I've had to use a 10mm socket on the end of it. Uh, I'll try and set you up so you can watch us do it. Do you really want to see us do the other one? That goes in there. Like so. That fits on the top, like so. And for the front boards, it is... Who's SI? 18 mil. Well, actually, it's really light, and because of sent the uh, stands, I've slackened them off. You don't need to take them all the way out. I can pull that out. That is the wire comes in from there. Can you see that? Now this is weird because that is the way that comes up from below the, the ground and it comes into that box there but there's nothing plugged into it. So I pull it out of there because at the minute it's swiveling it will something should go in there and something should go in there now on both sides there's this but that's not connected to it which comes out of the ground as well i think that might be for heated seats or something like that are you done it mate uh no i'm oh. hi dear how's it going i've got three coats on well in this weather it must oh. be sweet <laughs> now three quarts of me varnishing dear all oh, right it's 30 degrees out the back oh lucky you so it's drying dead quick nice and warm here yeah. um uh, no, it's hot out the back <laughs> i'm just uh taking off the well i've got the seat loose i've just got to take off the seat electric loose. seat loose da -da 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 seat loose don't know the words no words <laughs> apparently it's foot loose Oh, well. Can I just give you a time check, everyone, body? So it can't be due to alcohol, because that's in the AM. Yeah. <laughs> Which is always this much. Caffeine. <laughs> Caffeine. Right. Okay, back to it. Right, we'll move it to the rear of the vehicle. It just slides out over there. He says. I would slide it over Have you screw loose? Well, you see, he handed me the phone, so I'm videoing, so otherwise I'd help him shift it, but... Mm. Back in place. Something Look fixes thee. The no, the oh. oh, we've got recliner seats now. <laughs> Watch me paint work. <laughs> Template. 
Are you not modelling? No. Are you not modelling the template? It came with a kit. It came with a kit? kit? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Trying to find out which way around it goes. Kit. Model. Right. Did you bring the tripod round? Oh, I see here. Right. And so I've taken the chair out. I've now got to put this down up, and that's what the template's for. Otherwise, it's going to be really high up, and we're going to need loads of washers to set on it. Right, got a bit of chalk. I'm going to do the outline so I know where to cut. I think I might have had a close call there. Watch this. Right, so I've cut along there and then down here, thinking these were the only wires. And can you tell by me sign? Shit. But fortunately, although I've gone through the outer, I think I've not cut through anything there. Oh, I'll have to check, but I think I'm okay. So that was lucky. So I'm gonna have to be careful on the other side now. Hopefully there's no more wires under there. Right, so that's what it looks like on this side. That is where I've got to be careful when I'm coming down the other side. So that is what I'm going to move, whatever that is. I haven't actually bought it to the chair or anything. So it is coming out. That might have to come out as well. That was the thing for the box. So yeah, I'll take that out as well. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, back in a minute. I think I was just talking to a camera that wasn't recording again. So I've trimmed a bit more of this off so it would sit flat. I took the bracket out. That bracket out that was there uh, wasn't even touching the, the chair, so I don't know what that was there for. Must have been, sorry, that, I don't know what that was there for. Must have been some other. Uh, so I've took that out. I've also took the bracket out from the front that was holding the box in place that went under the seat. Having done that, trimmed a bit more of the edges off on both sides. Uh, it now fits in there. The bolts that came out of the front of the chair go in here, go in the back end. Uh, and then the two new bolts of the supply go in the front. I think, like I said at the start, the bolts that come out the back, out, out of the front end, were 18s. For some bizarre reason, they're not 18s, the new ones. The new ones I got out, got in with the three quarter inch. So that means they're probably 19s. Uh, but I don't have a 19 socket to hand. Um, next thing is, yeah. Next thing to remember is when you're putting them in, Put all four in just start them and then tighten them down because it's a really tight fit uh, if you screw one in you'll 
have a nightmare getting another one in. So uh, yeah, do all four and then tighten them up, which is what I'm doing now. So now for the seat install. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Oh, that freaking hurt. Ah, bollocks. Ah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. No, no, that's the lugs. The lugs are off. off the, that's all right. Right. So, that's what it looks like at the minute. So that obviously can't go above there because there'd be a huge gap. So I think I've got to pack that out with washers and then stick a washer over the top because then it isn't big enough. Because uh, it'll be, actually it will be pushing against the washer. Yeah, I'll see if I've got any washers. Oh, do that again. Oh. Ah, right, now now try twit this. That's it, year round. It's just literally jiggery pokery. Be on a little, no, you'll have a box there though. Go, go back any further. Mm. So there you have it, swiveled seat. Uh, installed in ooh, 10 to 2. 10 to 2, 4 hours. Partly because, <laughs> and this is another mistake, uh, that bit. There were two of them. There's now only one. So I was really concerned I might have lost it under the seat, so I had to re take everything out and check. It's not under the seat, but God knows where it's gone. <laughs> so, that's another mistake, but a happy day. Right away. Uh, where's he? Oh, he's over there. Right. Uh, good morning, campers. Bit overcast so let's just go with morning campers right monday morning walking the dog recap of what we've done so far saturday we installed the swivel seat 
Yesterday I installed the plinth, footrest, whatever you want to call it, to try and stop your feet dangling over the edge. And you'll see that when we get back to the van. Meanwhile, Sharon sorted out the tops for the counters and the table, and she's got them looking really nice. And I think, depending on where I stick her video in, you might have already seen it. Or my peer to come. So that is what we built yesterday to go with the swivel chair. Nice little, little stand. And that will stand up, hold your feet up. And what we're going to do today is finish off the ceiling and try and get the cladding all the way down and so Here's the kitchen bench top, tiled, grouted and I love the grout because it's a uh, silver grey glitter grout, a bit sparkle, quite like that. So yeah, we haven't cut the sink out yet because we're just going to wait. Um, but obviously this bit will be a hot plate to cook from because that'll be the door end. Uh, bench, the little bench, another little hot plate. Uh, finished the sides off. Just need to screw them down and be put them in the cupboard, in, in the van. Table top, uh, then in the background. So obviously this needs to be fixed in place between the bench seats then it lifts up and becomes part of the bed. I finished the top off with several layers of varnish and tiled and used the silver glitter ground and they're like a pearlesque mosaic tiles. They're being cute. Five are a big square thing. So I've built quite cheap. And obviously finish the sides off with a nice little neat edge. Can't wait to see what it looks like in the van. Hello. What are you doing? Where are you going? Enjoying your walk? Anything to say to your fans? That's it. See you later. Okay, catch us later.